Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are, we're in the second week of October now. And yeah, we're just returning from the dealership because we've got some horse feed here. So we've got oats here. I thought this was going to be a mixture, like a complete food mix, but apparently not. So, but yeah, anyways, we need to feed our horses because they're running out on food. But yeah, the goal for today is going to be get the fields turned over because we still need to see the grass in all of our fields. To get that extra cut of silage going to the new year. We do have grass ready to mow, but I don't think I'm going to do that quite yet. We'll wait until at least November. Because then what we can do then is simply fade it that for men for a month and then sell it so start off with get a worker on this there we go that's just gonna do its own thing there we go yeah also we got fertilizing and cultivation to do on 110 we got finish to seeding on field 53 and then we've got the fertilise 54, 106 and 107, they all have been drilled with grass seeds, but obviously now we need to fertilise it. And I think I'll do the roll there maybe, not sure as of yet, but we can wait on that, but so yeah, anyways, let's get back to the farm and feed our horses. And there we go, so yeah, we're at the farm now, so... I think we're still going to need some hay. I think we've got a hay bell somewhere over here, hopefully. Hopefully I haven't been that stupid in completely forgetting to feed the horses. Or forgot to keep the hay for the horses, but... You know, I'll go over here and have a little quick look, so... That would be over here. Oh yeah, I've still got plenty of hay. So yeah, we'll just grab... Oh, no, just one, please. So yeah, most of that hay is going to be for the sheep. And also for the Angus cows, because obviously they don't need TMR mix. So we can just feed them TMR as and when. So yeah, if we go to here. Oh no. We'll go to our animals tab. Go down and have a look at our horses. So yeah, they need a little bit of hay. How's that? Oh, gaining a bit more. Nope. Oh, dang it. Ah, bugger. Okay, that's a bit too much hay, but fair enough. Do not want to do that, but... Anywho, we'll go and hopefully we can reverse this in. But yeah, this is going to be a very tight going in and Roy cocked it up. But yeah, are you going to keep the horses for too long? I think we'll keep them over the winter period. But come spring, we will definitely sell them. So yeah, a few more months and I'll be looking after them, which ain't going to be too much of a job in fairness. I should do mind looking after these horses. Not really that profitable, but it's something different. And again, it brings attraction to the country park aspect. So that's the thing. That's part of our site business. So when we get locals coming in, or people from cross country, or even from a different country, you come to visit Cork Farm. Who knows? Tourism is good. So yeah. So if we say put the oats here. Consume it, or do we need to? Uh, I think we need to open the bags on these. I think. Can we just not give them to directly? I don't think so. Yeah, base food ain't going up at all, so. It looks like we'll need something to pick them up with, so. Alright, 
right, fair enough. And bear with me a sec. There we go, so yeah, just cut the open, cut open the bags. I will put it into here, so. Okay, I've currently missed the complete area, so. It is OC half, it is the base food. Of course it because that's how I purchased this. Purchased as a horse feed bag, so. So literally nothing whatsoever. Does everybody need a trailer? What dang it. I thought we could just tip it in, but no. Okay, not even if I do directly over the pit. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna chuck it out. Frick's sake, so. Ooh, there we go. Ah, uh, bear with me for one more second whilst I get this sorted. There we go, we have to try to sort it. And yeah, that was a bit of a palaver. But anywho, we'll get this sorted also. We've gone and accepted a sugar bee contract on field 90. We've gone and borrowed the equipment from the farmer, so we'll be paying what, about a hundred pounds leasing fee from the farmer, and that's fine. That is completely fine for us. That covers like the wear and tear and I'm guessing or whatever. And oh boy. It's a small trader, but it doesn't help if I didn't align it properly. Anywho. Let's go and whack you in. There we go. Now we'll put our oats in here. Bingo. Of course it is a swivel axle, not a fixed axle, which does annoy me a little bit, but... Beggars can't be choosers, this is a very cheap trailer, I think, what, four grand this cost is for, well look at it, we're already at 38% with just what we've got, so, yeah, not too bad. And is that all of it? Sure, that wasn't all of it, right? No, it wasn't all of it, so... Ah, wait a minute. Is this... Ah, that's why. It's food that is at the max, so... Can't put any more in. That's probably why it wasn't going in. Oh, stupid envoy. Oh, you did sandwich moment there, but... Anywho. Let's go and... Uh, what should we do now? So, workers doing their continue on, so yeah, I think we'll give a little hand a sec. There we go, so I think turn around. Yeah, I do like this little track, what was it? The uh, Wenzel PM truck 2385. Yeah, I'm not sure what the brand name on that, but. It's such a cute little combat, combat tractor. And actually, that'd be good for like vineyard work, even. There we go. I'm sure we was going in there for some reason. Now we guess. So, yeah, we're already at 30,000 litres and counting. So, yeah, no one's going to need to work on that. Workers seeding away, and obviously we're almost out of seeds. We're out of fertilizer, so that's going to be interesting. But I think the best thing to do is take over. Let's go and get everything done by ourselves. Actually, no, I need to work on that. But yeah, because we need to do fertilizing and cultivating here. And yeah, also gone bought that front tanker for eight grand. So yeah. Let's get all this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
ago, sometime later, just been doing the Shibby contract. Also, since then, I have left the game and given the game an update because Court Farm just had a new update with the new Lightning by Bullet Bill and there is a significant difference. So, it's like before, he was like a month behind. So, for example, currently we were in September. Because just with the light, how the lighting worked previously, it was like a month back. He needs to put the candle on to get the appropriate light in. But now, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Like the sun, like October time, sun just starting to set. That is realistic, so I'm glad about that. But anyway, so we've gone and done this contract, so thank you very much. Uh, we need a tractor, so bear with me a sec. Should have done that first. As I was saying, yeah, we've gone and completed this contract. And we've got an extra 40,000 litres of sugar beet. And because we're in need of money at the moment, I'm just going to go and sell this. So, there we go. Send the sugar beets. Should get some decent money out from this. Yeah, 29 grand, so not too bad. Uh, wait a minute, why has the mic gone? I'm clicking complete contract. But it's not, let me. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, I'm guessing that's a bug with the update. Guessing that because obviously I accepted the contract in the previous game save version or well, last update, and yeah. Let's see if I can get that amended set because, yeah, that is playing up. Okay, so I had to add the money in, fair enough. That ain't too much of an issue, but anyways, we've got a load of sugar beet here because now. It is time to get the cookie factory in. As will going to be most likely the thumbnail of this episode, we're going to put the cookie factory in. And I'm going to put it down by Stonebridge Farm because there's a suitable area as well. We flat down, put a little pad down already, so it's all set up and ready to go now. All it is just requires now is us putting the factory down and getting the sugar beet in. So no, we'll take sugar beet. I don't know if we'll take sugar beet cut or not. As an aspect for sugar, if it does, then we will release a sugar beet cut trailer that will load it in. And as we unload it, it will have it's basically like a muck spreader where it spins on the back. But rather than chucking out manure, it will chop sugar beet and get sugar beet cut. So. Well, yeah, I forgot about the break in on this. Good thing is, we've also got a couple of packs of strawberries over here already. And yeah, we're now going into here. I think realistically, I should set up a way of properly getting in and out of here. And that is not even the way we're going in. To the left, we've got to go. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe you could put a little co cover in, cover in, and then fill the sand up with gravel or something. Just so it makes our life so much easier to deal with and manage, so... Anyways, we're going to open this up, and this is where the cookie factory is going to be at, so... Next to our sheep and that, so a decent area. So let's go and sort this out. Let's go into our productions tab. Now we'll scroll down and it should be one of the first few in. There we go, we want this one here, so 72,600. And yeah, it's gonna be some minor landscaping maybe required, but overall, it is not too bad. May decorate it, add some trees in or something, but yeah, overall it's not looking too bad. So 
now we've got this we can actually look at what we need and what is required so ah yeah that's good so we can do should be cut emo is a high process rate so let's hop into here I know we're going to need for Dover and strawberries as well. I think we're going to need flour as well. There we go. Unload the sugar beet. So, yeah, the sugar beet cut trader. I think, I think we've got it still installed. Yes, we have. The Beat Ninja. Actually, do I have the order version of this? No, I do not. But no worries, what we can do is cut it at the silo and dump it back in. And then we should just pick it up. There we go. So yeah, the sugar is in ready, and yeah, we're getting sugar already, so. We're going to need butter, flour, and eggs, and all sorts of stuff, so we do need oats, get oatmeal, oatmeal cookies. But I don't think we're going to do a variety, just because we won't be able to do, yeah, oatmeal raisins. So we need butter, sugar, and cheese, so fair enough. So butter, sugar, cheese, and chocolate. I'm gonna turn that on. But yeah, I wish we. Wait a minute, that's a ten to nine ratio. That's a five now. No, not that one. Up here, what's the ratio up here? Ten to nine. Uh, vaguely similar so but yeah so we're gonna need flour in so what I may do is set the pallet spawn yeah we'll let the pallet spawn so yeah we need eggs as well so I was thinking about sending the eggs but actually we won't so we can do that once we get the milk over Yeah, sure, let's do chocolate and chocolate chip. Only difference is a bit more chocolate. We'll get that enabled as well. So yeah, then we're going to grab some flour and that. Milk in now. And actually, we may... Perhaps we may want to buy some milk in. But is there any decent price milk available? So... Bear with me a sec, whilst I have a look here at our options. So, skipped ahead a little time here, and here is all we got. We skipped ahead so that we can have one flower palette. But yeah, we've spent all our money. Not sure if it was a good choice on chocolates, cheese, and milk. So, all of this is going to be for the cookie factory. Spent like 50 grand or so. Yeah, and this year I was planning on saving my money in that, you know. Get a lottery in that at some point, but uh, nope. Instead, we're using this, so that's good at least. But yeah, we can get our money back soon. We can always lease out a lorry, you know, put it at least for the day and say, we'll pay the dealership at the end of the day, but. So yeah. I'm not sure if this is a good choice. We do need more flour now, realistically. I know I've got that big, like, also they pad it with, like, 90, almost 100,000 litres of flour, but I may hold off on that for the time being. But yeah, I don't know if this is a good choice or not. I'll say it was for the time being. This unproved otherwise, but... Yeah, we ain't got like 10,000 litres of milk or so at the moment, so we ain't gonna last too long. And maybe things while we may swap out some of our cows for actual dairy cows. 
harvest. And with that right there, we can get milk in. No problems whatsoever. But yeah, it's just that argument of where do you go, how far do you go with it all. Like, this costs us a lot of money. We ain't cheating this in. If I want to, I could have cheated in the milk at least a bit. At a highly discounted rate, but I thought, no, let's go with something, you know, normal. Yeah, the only cheat side technically is the liftable pallets, but in fairness, I am not complaining on that. But yeah, it's also making me think perhaps we should do wheat and, or at least oats. Because can we plant oats? Yes, we can, so... Uh, uh, we do have a couple of fields ready. We've got the field here to our left, ready. And then we got the field down at the bottom. That needs to be cultivated, but we can always do oats. I think I will. I think I'll do wheat in one and oats in the other. I wasn't planning on doing that, I was going to plan to do grass. Actually, I think the other one has already got grass in it. Oh, do tell me. If it has, then we can do wheat in the spring. But yeah, go to here. Have a look at the soil map. Uh, yeah, I think that's been cold seed of grass. Ah, no, it's 110, sorry, I'm on about. Yeah, 110. Yeah, 110, and this field. So I think if we do wheat here, and do oats in the bigger field. Phew, I thought we got fucked up there for a moment, but no. So yeah, bear with me a sec. Let me get this all loaded up, and then taken to the cookie factory, and we'll get this all loaded in. There we go, so yeah, we've got all the stuff we need here, so let's go and put this in. And hopefully this takes everything, it's not taking the milk, that ain't great. Nope, not taking the milk. Don't fancy the milk? Uh, fair enough, suits you. Thought it would be like, you no know, ticket from the IBC, which to me makes sense because obviously oh uh, yeah so oh uh, this has been a real plethora for us so you know what I'm going to do is skip to the morning I'm going to sort this out and I'm going to show you folks the results of everything that we have done because yeah I need to sort this out so before we have a look at the cookies because we have skipped a significant amount of time so I just want to see like Pretty much what was the total output and we've almost assumed everything that we've had all the milk is gone like, including the ones we bought so but I think it was worth it so just had a bit of slurry because we need to obviously get some money because we're in negative money but now we're not so yeah let's go in and have a look at our cookies and yeah, we've got a ton of cookies, like this is strawberry cookies, the red ones. Guessing that is chocolate chip and that is sugar cookies, yeah. I've got three pounds of sugar already spawned and we've got a lot more here, so... If we have a look, we've got 15,000 years of cheese, 5,000 years of chocolate left, 54,000 years of sugar. Because I've gone and cut some sugar beet. So yeah, we've still got plenty of sugar to process, so come send time, that's gonna be a really good profit for us, so that's what that's in we sell. I may keep some of it in storage even. But yeah, so if we have a look here, we've got two thousand liters basically left to spawn, along with additional seven thousand liters of sugar cookies, eight thousand liters of chocolate chip cookies, and nine thousand liters of chocolate chocolate chip cookies. And of course, no oatmeal because we don't have oats and we don't have raisins. But still, that is a lot. So let's take the strawberry cheesecake cookie. So that is 2,000 years. And if we got 
there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's nine thousand years we've got. Now if we go to the prices, if we have a look, go down here. They are worth a significant amount of money. So strawberry cheesecake at the moment we can get fifteen grand for that. That's gonna peak in December, so I think yeah, wait till yeah, wait a few more months. Unless we're absolutely desperate for money, but I think honestly I'd rather sell our apple juice and apple honey because yeah, they're peaking around now, so we can get away with selling it now. Yeah, eight five hundred. So yeah, really really should actually we sell those actually. Let's go and so there's gonna get a bit of income in. But yeah, we're gonna make that's what fifty grand for thousands of years. That's almost a hundred and fifty grand. And that's just for one category. What about the chocolate chips? Okay, chocolate chips and that are worth a little slightly less. Including sugar cookies, which makes sense because it's less input. But yeah, the chocolate chocolate chips, we look at the prices, like Obviously, the cheese, strawberry cheesecake is actually the better one to go with. So, really, I think to dictate to do more just strawberry cheesecakes, stop doing the sugar cookies. I should just do that now. Because, yeah, this production is extremely profitable for us. I've still got flour left. We did use the pallets that we had and may have put a bit too much in there, but. Worst case scenario, if we really want to use all that flour, we can just buy these inputs. Buy, you know, your butt. Actually, no, so much the butter. Buy milk, buy eggs, unless we get more chickens in, which may require some editing off the map. But yeah, really, that's all it is. Just milking that. We need. Yeah, I think we yeah, could do with more sugar. I think if we just do chocolate chocolate chip cookies and strawberry cheesecake cookies, that is extremely profitable. So yeah, I think at the moment we're sitting on, fantastic, yeah, it's like almost five, about 500 grand worth of cookies there. And that is just from overnight. Yeah, it's okay, technically it's a higher output, but regardless, that is extremely profitable. And obviously to get our money back, we need to sell some apple juice, so we need to do that. So yeah, I think let's do a little quick time lapse here. Because yeah, everything's been all disjointed and that, and yeah, no come for the hedgerows, but that was just because the workers and that, where we stopped and that. So yeah, let's go and get the apple juice and all that, and sell them. So yeah, there you got to go to the market stall, is that correct? Go up here, have a look. Yeah, farmer's market actually, my correction. So yeah, I'll tag that location. So yeah, let's get all this done and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
And there we go. So as we are just getting the last bits of our apple honey. Boy, that was painful to deal with. I was just shift on the opposite way around with Ant Skid Steer in the warehouse, but also I did compensate ourselves 4,900 quid for the pallets of apple juice and strawberries. Like, it's literally glitched in, like, literally no way of removing that, so. Can't do anything about it, you can just like, turn on the spot. I think that's what happened when obviously tried to spawn so many pads at the same time. Oh, we need to get out of the wiggle it. Can we wiggle it out actually? Well, if we can get these free, then yeah, I'll just take the money back. That's not an issue. But yeah, I'm not losing money because of a glitch. So, yes, yeah, caught on the ramps now. Oh, well, come back to that later on. But, yeah, so we made a hefty chunk and change, like 90 grand almost overall. Well, actually, yeah, just over 90 grand. Well, you can't lose three pallets we've lost, so. Yeah, not too bad. And we're actually back up in the red. I was in this episode, I was initially hoping to get everything else fertilised and seed the oats and wheat for the flower production. But yeah, that just seemed... It hasn't happened just because of issues that we, we've been having, so... It's going to be a bit of a short episode today than initially planned, but... Then yeah, next time what we'll do is we'll get everything seeded and all that. That's not going to be an issue for us. So then we may skip to December and start selling the rest of our produces, including our cookies. Actually, I am tempted to buy more stuff for the, what was it, for the cookie factory. I mean, like, yeah, we spent like 20, like 50, no, 50 grand on stuff. And we're going to make that money back, no problems whatsoever, so... All it just means is our total profit margins are a bit less than what it would have been, but still, making profit, if we can extrapolate that, you know, say chuck a hundred grand worth of stuff in there, and let that cycle over the next six months, then we'll be absolutely laughing to the bank. Because we're over the long run. The longer we get able to keep that production going and booming, yeah, I think that is an option for us. But yeah, of course, well, in actually, when is sugar at its peak price? So I don't think sugar peaks in December. I think it's like like springtime, like April, like along the lines with the close, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong, which is a very good chance. Oh, not quite, it was a little bit of a like, August, but then we're only looking at a £200 difference per thousand litres, and at the moment, really, should we send that sugar now? So, yeah, I think that's what I should do actually is grab sugar and sell that. We can do that in the next episode as well. So, yeah, we've got a few options for us in terms of what we can do. But yeah, we've got the last bits of the apple juice, 8,000 litres of apple juice, and 2,000 litres of apple honey, and that is totally going to help us with, you know, just pretty much get everything done in terms of with getting the loans paid off eventually, or even just fund the lorry, because I'm looking at some lorry options, and I think if we go down a particular route, it's going to cost us about... 90 grand to 100 grand for the lorry and for the trailer you're looking at between 20 25 grand upwards to 50 grand so if we can at least hit the 125 grand mark then yeah we can afford the lorry in that 
but again, that's options as well for us. We've also got like two million years of straw to sell. And I think what I would do with that, that straw is actually take it out and bait it. So I think there is like a multi bailer kind of thing that you can take stuff from the silos. No, not here. Because the other one around the corner. Yeah, I think there's like a a combi multi bayer thing. Not not to go Vel stuff. Yeah, like a Pottinger one, I think it is. Basically you can empty it from the silo and then sell it, so not sell it, like bait it. So I think if we do that we'll be absolutely laughing. There we go. Ah yeah, easy hit the hundred and fifty gram mark. Hundred and eighty Ah not quite, but <coughs> still seventy six grand that is nothing to snuff at. That is more than enough for the lorry net. Yeah, because I'm thinking, yeah, quick, actually, skip, yeah, get away from the noise out from the deer ship. But yeah, I'm going to trucks now. But yeah, I've got so many options. we got the 114 and 124G series. Yeah, if we go something like that. Actually, now I want something more slant face, you know, like a Volvo or a man. But yeah, risk case scenario, if we go 6x4, yeah, I think 6x4, 420 horsepower, big old tires and that, and just whatever, and all that, yeah, all the customizations get stupid, like, 12 grand for suspension? What? But yeah, I think there's that. Also got the cab overs. But something like that, like the 44202. Like you're all like American like vehicles, like your military vehicles. Big old spare tire. But I think to keep it simple, keep it simple, stupid. Let's go with your, your old, good old fashioned uh, men. The 33414 6x6 does have a front three point linkage option, so. Yeah. Yeah, if we look at. Yeah, because engine is 414. We're not having to navigate too many hills. I think we can get some agricultural tyres. Like that. 99 grand. Simple. And for trailers, yeah, I'm like a low loader or something of that category. Could go with, yeah, let's say 55 grand, like upwards of 50 grand for the platinum stuff. But got things like this the agricultural plank. Something simple, something simple, rudimentary basic. There you go with the Fleagle here. Or there is one under bell loaders. Where is it to? Yeah, there we go. The Flegel semi trailer. That's a lot longer. Yes, it has option for bells in that auto load. But yeah, even just standards. That's fine for us. That'd be a good, you know, transport all of our products and that back and forth because we'll be sticking to the main areas we won't be like, navigating the lanes and that and like, worst case scenario if we can't navigate this area here we just go a loop around but I think him realistically going through this way <coughs> would be the easier route because that turn there is quite a yeah difficult to deal with but say but yeah so yeah we've got a variety of options for us so yep yeah, I think that's gonna leave it today so yeah next time we're looking at buying the lorry 
haven't made my mind up yet on what we're going to go for, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. And then, yep, get the fields planted with wheat and barley. And also make sure all the fields are fertilised. The roll in, I'm not too particularly worried about, so I may just see that. But yeah, so, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment below. If you want to share this, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's far more ever extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.